Hi guys, I'm Nagatachan, and welcome to my reaction for Fairy Tale episode 282. So, previously, yeah, uh, well, we finally know that what's Grey been doing was he was undercover. I don't know if like the consul doing their stuff and Erza and Grey doing their stuff has some kind of connection or not. I guess we'll see about it. But because Lucio Natsu came, his mission is kinda... I guess they are not going to continue it. Because I think Avatar would figure that out. Right? That Grey was a traitor. Well, the only thing they need to do now is to stop their plan, right? Whatever that thing was, I assume. Well, I guess we'll see more of this. So, I'm going to start it right now. But he looks so cool. Yeah, it's just disappearing. So I guess he can control it. Bones. <laughs> Yep, it's Erza. Yeah! <laughs> Our mission! Okay, skipping through it. They probably kind of worked hard on this mission. Of course not. Who would believe that? Okay. At least we are going to get explanation. That is a good thing. Yeah, the purification plan is what the Avatar is trying to do. Oh. Okay, I mean, they are trying to do something with Zara too, right? Hmm. Basically a phone. Okay. Mm, he was concerned. Which is nifty. I mean, why not? I knew it. I knew it. I mean, the mission, though. Yeah. It would be better if not more people would be kinda... Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Thank you, Erza. Yeah, makes sense. Undercover mission. Yeah, it's kinda sad, but... She's probably going to feel better after all of this. Hmm. I guess they need to stop them now. Antar City. Do you really think he would come? Really? Really? I mean, they are stupid. Bigger. Oh. One branch. Oh. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, they needed to investigate properly. So it has like multiple branches, there is way more people. And they don't even know like how strong they are. And it's okay. Yeah, she kinda did slap him. <laughs> Ray. <laughs> of 
course. <laughs> She's so happy. <laughs> That's it. Oh, you said we should get rid of them. Okay. Okay, I guess. That's the plan. That's Natsu. Yeah, it seems like that. Natsu is like, I don't care. Yeah, he's excited. Yep. We for sure are piled up. Okay, so how big Avatar is, how many people there are, how strong they are. I'm concerned. This is all of them? Okay, this mask, dude. Kinda coolish. <laughs> Interesting. I mean, yeah, they're focused on this. <laughs> oh my god, this dude is like thinking which one is probably the one he would be okay with. I, I don't really think he would appear just because of such bullshit like this. Come on. I don't think this is what he cares about, but I mean, there are cultists, there are fans, they kind of might not even understand him at all. Of course, that's a perfect sacrifice, as always. Where did they get the idea, though? I mean, there's a lot of legends behind Zarev, that is true. A lot of, like, weird, creepy shit told about him. Okay, okay, that stuff actually looks pretty cool, not gonna lie. What do you mean by purification? Just slaughtering people? Oh, is that it? Because they're rushing in. I thought it would be like, you know, magic something stuff. So it was just slaughtering, I see. Okay, they are more... Well... <laughs> yeah, it's not going to be that easy, guys. But they're more simplistic than I thought. I thought it would be more elaborate. Okay, Natsu. <laughs> that was a little scary. Like that flame wall. Oh my god, they're both so excited. <laughs> Lucy, too. Can we just show each other how cool we are now? Okay, Tavares. Oh. Oh. Oh, I like the I like the hair. That's cool. Oh, that's so cute. I love the hair. She's so cute in that outfit. Well, maybe even if there are only three of them, they might be super strong. Is it Gajil? That would be clever. Erza? Erza. Okay, Gajil is still not here yet. <laughs> so, from the front, from the back. Hmm. Nice. Clever. I like this. Her hair looks fabulous. Yeah, probably by the fire. <laughs> that might hurt. That might hurt a little. Yeah, Natsu's flames look so much powerful now, and of course, gray. <laughs> yeah. They are. The scale of their attacks. I mean, we know Lucy is good with whips. Oh. 
Okay. The reach is way better. Definitely way better. Oh, wow. Yeah. She would never be able to, like, make so many people fly around like that. Oh, that was cool. <laughs> show off. Freaking show off. I mean, they, they kind of want to show off <laughs> in front of each other. Damn, I can't get enough. And I'm still surprised by his flames. They are so much bigger, so much powerful. Yeah, it's a little scary not to slow down. <laughs> You're a little scary. Yeah, his flames are so much bigger. This girl cannot find the words. <laughs> well, we still don't know what their magic powers are. What they are doing, ever to do. Okay. I love his mask. Really, really cool looking. Okay, Dark Sword, Black Magic. Who are you, Dark Knight? Doesn't sound bad, actually. You are only doing it now? Well, no wonder she was able to just, like, slay the whole back on her own. Oh. Ooh. I like that. Yeah, flying swords. Okay, that outfit. The hair, dude. Fabulous. Oh, I like it. I like it so much. Ah, oh, the armors. It's going to be so hard to decide. Even he is appreciating. Okay, interesting magic. Jerome. Okay. Oh, this music again. Me fan. Okay. Okay, they can do some stuff. But yeah, like, great not to Lucy. They trained and they got stronger okay so he's able to destroy these swords like nothing probably don't let him touch you okay carrots humans too i like the sword design very cool looking oh that's a cool trick and she told him when she was cutting him, <laughs> where she already cut him. I like this interesting new armor, like that there is like that stuff on the neck. It's, I don't know, very peculiar. I like it. Well, he cannot betray you if he never was with you. You know? <laughs> Yeah, like, oh yeah, they believe what they're doing. Oh my god, we're doing it for Zarev. Who cares about people? Of course, that, that was not a lie. I love his outfit. He's still set on this. Yeah, he doesn't want to kill people. Yeah, to his family. I mean, blood relatives. Yeah, Taurus is very strong. What? Oh, dead magic. I love her hairdo. Yeah, she dead. That girl, she did it to Lucy too. What the hell is that kind of magic? Horrible 
stomach ache? What is she doing? Eat away? Okay, that sounds very creepy. That actually doesn't sound that horrible as eating your organs away. But it for sure would kinda hurt. Damn. All we are always. <laughs> I'm sorry, you will not understand. Did you not saw them? Did you not saw them what they were doing? Well, maybe we should not care what are you saying and just start doing stuff. Come on, Lucy. Huh? Oh, from such far away. Wow, Wendy is coming here. <laughs> is she so salty that it's not working? Oh, wow. That probably hurt her. <laughs> Who are you thinking of, Grandfather? <laughs> was he beating you? Yeah, that was amazing. I mean, probably not as powerful as Lucy Kick, but... Cool. I guess she decided to help. Yeah, still dealing with this chick though. She's dealing with the gray though. She's so mad. And what the hell is her magic about? Oh. Oh. I mean, he probably should know a little bit about them because he was there with them for some time. Ang angry, you say? Each one has different... Okay. We get it. Are you sure it's just amused? Interesting. I mean, who would not? Who would not? <laughs> He's so confused. I mean, if Wendy is here... Damn. Julia is like, Get away from my husband, you bitch. Okay, this is kind of funny. I guess... I mean, she was, Julia, the water. It would be easier to freeze people now. She's so happy. It's okay, girl. Really? Yeah. I mean, yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah, at least he apologized. Oh, they're going to fight? Okay. <laughs> we don't have a time for talking, that's for later. Yeah. <laughs> I like it, it seems... I mean, yeah, they've been together for a long time, right? So they understand each other way better. And I like it, like, yeah, Jubia is still lava dovey, but... Wow, she can just do it straightforwardly? Okay, these guys are fucked. She learned how to use it. 
Wow. She can just enter that state, no matter what. That's cool. Yeah, I do really love that Julia and Grey like, are working in tandem like that. That's very cool. They've been together, they understand each other. And I like that Juvia is like putting that lovey-dovey shit for later. Like, yeah, it's cool, I see you, but now it's time to fight, so we are going to fight. What are you going to do? They are very powerful, indeed. These guys! What the heck they are! What are you, sir, though? What are you? He's just standing there and observing. That's worrying me a little. They are very powerful. I mean, there is one Dragon Slayer, second Dragon Slayer, Demon Slayer, crazily powerful knight, I mean, Erza, a Celestial Spirit Wizard. Yeah, uh... Kusatsunagi And Natsu is not losing time <laughs> We don't have a time for that <laughs> We're just going to get rid of you easily and quickly Okay Skip in, yeah there is nothing After that Okay I really love that this episode was basically just showing how much stronger they got and I do really love it. And I love that Lucy is so much stronger now. That's so amazing. Because like, yeah, her celestial spirits are cool, but like, she personally fights too. And she shows some like, really cool moves and some really cool strength. I do really like it. And her outfits! <laughs> her outfits! Like, I love the Loki outfit. That one was very cool, but like this one outfit is so goddamn cute, like the hair! Oh my! Oh my goodness! I wanna see like all the other outfits too. I do really want. And Erza's armor and the swords. Wow! Yeah. Choosing which one is like the best looking or I like the most would be extremely hard. Ah, uh, what I brought on myself. No, what what did I do? What have I done? That is going to be super hard, not gonna lie. So, they went here, they're getting rid of the Avatar. Kinda so far easily. Even though, like, Avatar dudes are extremely surprising, it's just like few people, but they are immensely strong. Have you never heard of Fairy Tale? They were known to be very strong for like long time. Why they are so surprised? I mean, yeah, they were told this bandit, but like it doesn't mean they would magically become weaker <laughs> or something like that. Did they never heard about the dragon slayer amidst them? Maybe they did not. I don't know. Maybe it's not a common knowledge. I have no idea. But like, yeah, there is a lot of slayers in that team. Three. That's a lot. <laughs> Different ones, but like, yeah, it's like one of the most powerful magic, right? The slaying magic. Kinda doesn't matter which one, because... Yeah, they, they are very powerful. So they were like so surprised, but yeah, the dude... I don't know what he's planning, but for sure something. Because he's standing there observing, so he might be the most powerful of all of them. Because so far it's been kind of easy. And that problem with Grey. He still wants to destroy E&D. But they don't know what it is. God dang it. I can't imagine what will happen if he would accidentally do something with a book. Or if he would like open it or something. Yeah, that might be a big problem actually and given his demon slaying powers yeah like the worst outcome would be accidentally killing natsu 
Whoops. <laughs> Whoopsie daisy. But I'm sure that won't happen. But like they don't know. They don't know that the book END is not so. Of course, it's logical to think they need to destroy it. So like what they will be doing with that? That is definitely going to be a problem in the future. Gray is so sad on destroying that, which I absolutely understand. The demons were very powerful and dangerous. So he's like, I have this power now. And it's kind of easy for me to destroy the demons. Right? Because of my demon slaying shit. I guess because what happened, he kind of took it on himself to destroy all the demons possible or left. Like E&D. Because they are danger and he has the power to end them. <laughs> So, yeah, and he was given this power, so he wants to use it to destroy if he has power to do so. Yeah, he kind of brought it on himself, which I understand. But could be a problem in the future, god dang it. Would like to have come? What the hell is their plan? It sounds so stupid. But like I was saying, there are a lot of legends about Zarav, so... Yeah, I, I don't think he would be amused or even like interested at all because he really did not even care about the demons, <laughs> what they were like trying to do. He just came for the book because he's personally interested in E&D because E&D is supposed to kill him, right? So just because of that, he came there and took the book. He wanted Natsu to kill him there, I guess, but it was too complicated. So he saved it for the later. And Natsu got stronger. So yeah, now when he's stronger, stuff might get easier or better. But yeah, I don't think he would care. <laughs> All these people revering Zuraf, thinking like doing stuff for him when he probably doesn't even like give a shit. Well, that happens. That happens when you kind of take it too far <laughs> with this kind of stuff. Yeah. They are basically idolizing him. Even though he is like villain or bad guy. So these bad guys are kind of idolizing Zarev. But he's nothing they think he is. Yeah, funny. Very funny. Maybe he was a long time ago. That's where the legends happened but from what we've seen he's like completely different person i just want to see more of his past he's such an intriguing character but like yeah the whole end stuff is definitely going to be complicated i can smell it and i'm kind of very excited for that but this episode was fun and i love it they are all so good. Yeah, and Wendy can like get into the dragon force, or how is it called? And Charles just like is in her human form fighting too. When Happy is not doing that much. I mean, he is used as a flying. <laughs> but, but still, maybe he should try more. <laughs> yeah. So like everyone got so much better. Cool. Yeah, I'm going to give this episode 8 out of 10 because I love the fights. And I love that Grey is not pushing Juvia away anymore. Yeah. That is actually very sweet because he was always like kind of trying to get away from her given his paws and stuff and shit. But like after all the things which happened, yeah. I guess he is giving her chance, which is very sweet. And they seem to work very well together. I mean, ice, water, of course. <laughs> of course, it's... I assume it's amplifying his powers, right? So, of course, that makes sense. And who would not want a sweet girl, right? Who would not want that? <laughs> so, yeah, that's a lot of positives Grey has there with Julia. 
I'm happy that our relationship is getting better. I'm so happy. Or at least Julia, like, now has some kind of chance. Right? Or at least they work very well together. And Julia is not just, like, around being so crazy about him. Like, yeah, she's still crazy, but it seems it dialed down quite a bit. So that is very important. Yeah, well, I am intrigued where the hell this whole stuff will go. The dude is probably planning something. I hope he's the strongest and we would see a little bit more because Natsu's fire is just so good and big and scary. Like, yeah, his fire is now kind of scary, not gonna lie. I'm used to, like, cool fire, but, like, smaller fire. It still, like, was cool and pretty amazing and strong, but now it's a different league. And it's a little bit scary. <laughs> Tiny little bit. Because how hot his flames can get. And that he can just melt stuff around. And, like, those flames are so huge. That never happened before. <laughs> the scale of his attacks. Wow. Wow, that was some intense training. <laughs> yep. What is your secret, Natsu? What is your freaking secret? Well, I guess that is all. I can't I can wait for the next episode. Yeah. So, goodbye and see you next time.